The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Children's Confession. Father God, I thank you for this day that you have made, and I will rejoice and, and be glad in it. I thank you for my family, my home, my pastors, my teachers, and I my church. I thank you that I am a child that is proper and obedient. Because I have been trained in the way I should go, and when I grow up, I will not depart from it. Father God, I declare that I am quick to learn, quick to understand, and qualified to do whatever I am asked to do. Because I can do all things through Christ who helps me. Therefore, I am never afraid because I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I cancel the plan and the assignment that the devil has planned against me. Devil, if I tell you to go, you must go. So go, devil, in Jesus' name. I declare that God's kingdom will be done in my life now. I walk in good health, victory, and wholeness. I have the favor of God in my life, and I live a life of prosperity because I'm a rightly directed child. In Jesus' name, amen. Preschool ministry rules. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 oh. Therefore, I will walk wherever I go, use my inside voice, keep my hands to myself and not harm anyone else, speak kind words, listen to my teachers while they are talking, raise my hand to be recognized, and enjoy my learning experience. Happy Sunday to my most amazing and wonderful preschoolers as well as parents. I am Ms. Andrews and I'm so delighted to be back with you all for another monthly lesson. I hope you all are having an incredible time, incredible week, enjoying every bit of it. I know you all are ready and excited for the summertime, which is not too far away. Some of you all are in preschool, um, pre-K, or getting prepared to go to pre-K um, in the fall. So once again, I want to thank you all for taking the time out to join me today. Well, like I said, I'm so excited to bring to you all another monthly lesson. With it being a new month, can you all take a guess on what month we're in? And I will give you a hint, give you another, a small hint. It is the fifth month of the year, and we also take time out to celebrate mothers. Can you all take a good guess? That's right, the fifth month of the year is May. So in the month of May, we take the time out, like I said, to acknowledge all of the sweet mothers out there. And that's not the only month we acknowledge mothers. It'd be all year, we acknowledge mothers. And to show our appreciation for them. It's show them extra love. Show them how much you love them, whether it's your mom, your grandma, if you have an auntie that's a mom, you take the time out just to let them know how special they are. Well, boys and girls, with it being a new month, we have a new focus as well as a new scripture. The new focus of this month is helping others, and the scripture is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16, and it reads, Remember to be kind to other people. Share with them the things that you have. God is happy with sacrifices like that. Hebrews 13, 16. I'm sure you all have many ways you can think of that you have helped other people, that you have been helped, as well as how God has helped you. I want you all to take the time out to check out some of your friends as they share what helping others mean to them. All right, tell me your name. Madison. Madison, all right. Madison, tell me, how do you help other people? You give them food. Okay, that's good. Now, what are, what are some things you do at home to help mommy and daddy? Clean up the living room. Clean up the living room? That's good. I know they truly appreciate that. Good job, Madison. All right, tell me your name. My name is Elise. All right, Elise. Who do you help? Um, you and daddy. Daddy, me and daddy, okay. And, and, and yeah, my Chloe. Okay, you help your brothers? That's good. And food. Okay, you help do what? Help you and food and daddy and lunch. You, you like to help you. Yep, you help me. What do you like to help cook? I like to cook and. All right, good job. 
Tell me your name. Ava. Ava. Okay, Ava, tell me some ways God helped you. Directions he tell the first you, time. oh, good. Okay, good. He tell you to follow directions. Good, and you follow those directions the first time. That's a good way to help too. Now, what are who do you help at home? Uh, my mommy. Your mommy. And what do you help your mommy do? Sweep. You help her sweep. And what else? Um, that's it. That's good. Well, that's good. Good job, Ava. All right, let's give a round of applause for all of your preschooler friends that share what helping others look like to them or how they've been helped by God. Well, I'm sure there's so many ways you can think of God has helped you. Let's see, he wakes you up every time you take a nap or you go to sleep at night. He protects you everywhere that you go, whether it's to school, back home, um, on different trips. He protects you and your family. He keeps you healthy and strong, yes. Yes, he keeps you strong, and that way, any sickness or the disease, you can help, you can fight it off. But he keeps you, he keeps you healthy. And there are so many ways Jesus has helped people in the Bible. As you are learning, so many stories in the Bible. There is a special story about a good Samaritan. Now, in this parable, there's a Jewish man. And he's walking down the road, just minding his business, and all of a sudden, these men decide to come to rob him. And they robbed him, beat him, and left him on the side of the road. So he's badly hurt. So the man that happened to see this Jewish man, he's actually a Samaritan. No, he decides to help this man. Now, Jews and Samaritans don't get along. They're actually enemies. So back during that time, it was unheard of for a Jewish man and a, Samar a Samaritan to even interact with one another. So although they were enemies, that Samaritan took his time, took the time out to help this Jewish man. Now, Jesus is so important to us because of his atonement. And that's the suffering that he endured for us, for us on the cross. And that way we could have this abundant and amazing life. He did for us that showed such an amazing amount of love that he had for us, that God was able to give his, his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. Now, like I said, his atonement, he suffered for us. He showed love for us. He helped us. So out of that respect that we have for God, that we have for Jesus, the love that we have for Jesus, we should have that love for other people, um, love them enough to be able to help them. No matter if they're our enemy, if we dislike their ways, we should have a loving heart for other people. And that's where God comes in and change our heart, how we feel about other people. It helps us to have, have more love to want to help other people. So God loved us so much that he gave his only son to die for us. He loved us first, that we're able to love others, love ourselves, as well as love others. You will learn that being compassionate for people that are less fortunate, it will help us to be able to love all people more. And we will learn, he will reward us, and we'll see that what we do is not in vain. That reward may not come right then. However, eventually, God will reward us for our good deeds. Well, let's thank God for this awesome message on helping others and how God helped us, how Jesus helps us. Before we close out in prayer, if there's anyone that has not received salvation, and that's simply giving your life to Christ. That's knowing that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that he rose again. After three days, he rose again. And now we're able to have this abundant life. He showed his love for us. And now we give our life to him. If you haven't done that, I want you to repeat this prayer of salvation. Lord God, I am a sinner. I know in my heart. And I believe that you sent Jesus to die on the cross. And he rose again for my sins. Lord God, I accept you into my heart and into my life. And now, I am saved. Amen. Well, let's thank God that you are now saved and you can go tell your family and friends about how God has saved you. Well, I want to end in prayer. So you all, let's get in the posture of prayer by bowing your head, putting your hands together, and closing your eyes. Lord God, we come to you and thank you for this awesome message on helping others. We thank you, Lord God, that we are able to reflect on how much you've helped us, how much Jesus has helped us, Lord God. Um, we thank you, Lord God, that you gave your only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And we show, um, we thank you that that showed love that you have for us. We thank you, Lord God, for that great sacrifice. And we thank you, Lord God, that we are able to 
to love ourselves and love other people. Um, we thank you, Lord God, that we have that love uh, for you and that we will continue to um, do things to help other people. We will have that compassion that we need to help other people, Lord God. And um, we thank you for that. And we just thank you, Lord God, for who you are and you being a great God um, that we serve, Lord God. We thank you for everything you continue to do for every preschooler, every parent, every guardian, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for who they are and how much they're going to continue to love you and grow in their relationship with you. We love you, and in your name we just pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to thank you all once again for joining in for this preschool live. You all continue to be great, continue to do awesome things, and also stay tuned for some great happenings with the children's ministry. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Hey, preschoolers. I have a question for you. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? No? Well, let's see. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yeah, someone that you can talk to and uh, play with, but nobody else around them can see, right? Guess what? It's kind of like that, but only he's very real. That's right. God's voice, that still small voice, that tug in your heart, right? When you feel really good or even that feeling when you know you've done something that you shouldn't have done. That's God speaking to your heart, and that's called the Holy Spirit. And we want to make certain that you invite him into your heart every day of your life, even right now, being five, six years old, you can have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you every day of your life. So let's pray together and ask for God's Spirit, his Holy Spirit, to love on you and to get into your heart, okay? Let's get in a posture of prayer. Father God, right now, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that your Spirit leads us and guides us. Right now, whatever, whatever preschooler is watching, Lord God, we just ask that your Spirit overwhelm them with love, Lord God. Speak through their hearts, Lord God, and let them know that they are loved. In Jesus' name, amen. So, if you hear the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart, feeling feeling your heart with love, go with it, okay? All right, guys. Have a great day. Attention all parents. Strawberry picking has been canceled. Please stay tuned for more fun activities. Calling all moms. Please join us for Mom Fest, which will be held on Saturday, May 13th from 1130 to 130. For only $10, it will include music, bingo, a bubble room, Mother's Day gift store, and so much more. Come out to celebrate being the awesome mom that you are. Join the preschool ministry for fun at Pelican Snowballs on June 3rd at 12 o'clock p.m. It's a Dutch treat, but the fun is on us. Hope to see you there. Ready, set, move. Follow Jesus here, there, and everywhere. Join the Children's Ministry for Vacation Bible School, June 12th to the 16th, nightly from 6 to 8. For the month of May, during Wednesday night Bible study, the preschool ministry will have guest speakers discussing our monthly focus of helping others. Bring your preschooler out to enjoy these great community helpers. Preschool Lives are now available every first Sunday and every Wednesday. Join us for a special preschool Bible lesson and more. Are you great working with children? Join the preschool ministry by visiting rdci.info to complete a volunteer application and join our team. Be sure to subscribe to Kidstown YouTube channel where you can catch children's ministry and preschool weekly.